All right, man. Jared Lindner, Cody Meyer, day three. Uh, you know, yesterday afternoon we had some pretty gnarly wind come across the lake, blown out of the east. I mean, it was it was getting it pretty good. And uh, kind of what, what happened is we were on the north end of this lake, of Clear Lake here, and it kind of moved all that water and muddied up a bunch of stuff, tore up some grass where we were actually catching some nice fish. Yeah. So we're gonna call an audible. Yeah. We fished a little bit down south yesterday. We're gonna expand on that and uh, try to catch some big ones. Do some different techniques, fish out a little deeper. Glad I have you in the boat because I don't know what the heck I'm doing down <laughs> deeper. I like it. Yeah, like you say, you know, yesterday our game plan was to start up north here, catch a fish, and go down south, but that wind really changed it up. I mean, it was hard to fish down there. Mm -hmm. But today you can see it is a beautiful morning. It is freezing cold though. This is definitely post front. So Hey, we're just gonna uh, we're gonna go out there and have fun. We don't know what's in store for us today. Are we gonna catch them? We're gonna not. But you know what? We're gonna try. Stay tuned. I can't wait to uh, to, to swing on a few. I say we just go after it like we were in, like major league fishing, right? Yeah. No practice, no information, just yeah. like our cups. Let's go out there and just see what we can do. Let's do it, buddy. All right. There's one. There's one. Good one. There we go. There we go on the, the cranker. <coughs> Tactical DD. The way that one ate it. A little deeper. That's how you wanted to eat it. Yesterday, they were barely getting, barely getting the back hook. Look how that one got it. I mean, that thing choked it. And that was like maybe what three casts? Three casts into the morning, man. <clears throat> I mean, again, well-known spot here. <clears throat> but look how, look how these fish are built, man. Just not not a giant, but dude, any day, all day. Any day, all day, anywhere, man. Let this one go. Go catch his mom. You know, so we just got this this pretty cool crankbait. You know, it's uh, not a sponsor of mine or Jared's, but uh, there's a pretty cool little story behind it. You know, it's one of my my good friends from high school, Tim Little. I went to high school with him, and uh, he designed the bait. You know, we've been staying next to him here up at Clear Lake this week. He goes, "Hey, take this thing out, throw it." I know it's a hot item right now at Clear Lake, and something really cool. With Tim, a couple years ago, I was up at. Uh, Bullard's Bar, we're up there fishing for those big spotted bass. End up catching, uh, at the time when I thought, hey, this could possibly be the world record. And what was cool is Tim had it at that time, it was 1046, I call him up. We're about three and a half hours away from Bullard's Bar right now, Tim lives up here. He runs up there, drops everything he's doing, he's a, a California uh, game warden, goes up there, certifies this fish, tactical bass and has a video of it really really cool so you know Tim and I go back a long ways and uh, excited to throw his little Clear Lake secret out here right now see if we can catch some fish it fish is really good I mean and, and I think I mentioned in another vlog it, it's a deep diving crankbait but it doesn't wear you out I yeah. mean you, you know we're throwing on 711 glass rods is your 711 uh, mine's an eight foot, eight foot. yes um, and it's not like you're fighting the crankbait. You're, you're you know, it's it's like you're almost you're throwing a medium diving crankbait. I mean, it feels really good. It's real tight, tight wobble. Gets down there really quick. Um, you just got to hit the right rock and the right angle, and one will eat it. Uh oh, Corey's got a big one, Daniel. <laughs> Corey's gonna go to trout, man. <laughs> Here we are up front, trying to show you how it's done in these post front conditions. <laughs> Corey's just yo yo to trap off the back. <laughs> I look back, I saw something on the graph. I'm like, hey, I'll drop out there. <laughs> All 
There's one. There you go. Good one? I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh nice yeah, one. dude. Nice one. Got it, dude. Did that eat it bringing it up? Yeah. Lifting it up off the bottom. Dude, right on. Nice one. Dude, look at that. I heard that yesterday again, I'm gonna say this. That east wind was blowing and they were barely getting it. Now today, both fish, both hooks in them, front hook first. I mean, that's what you want. I think I'll let this guy go. That's a nice fish, dude. Yeah, that's a Get nice one. All right, a little mid-morning update. You know, we've caught a few, had a few bites, and really this time of year, it seems like they always get to the same places. So we're kind of fishing spots kind of fast, you know, using the, the new Garmin Ultras to side scan, down scan, or down view, and see if there's a fish, bait, you know, things like that. And uh, we found some fish, but if they're not biting, we're out of there. I mean, we're kind of like somewhere, there's a big school of them. We're gonna run into them. So we're just kind of making, you know, fishing productive spots, trying to get the schools fired up. And uh, like I said, using your electronics. Cody, the, the infamous deep water master, hasn't got us on nothing. What do you gotta yes. say about that? The day is young, okay, everybody? The day <laughs> is young. But here's the deal. I mean, when we catch fish, we are literally there for no more than five minutes when we, when we get a bite. So. I mean, we've both agreed on, hey, let's pull up with as many spots as we can. And within the first five minutes, if we don't get a bite, we're gonna pull the Garmin Force troll motor, we're gonna take off. So same thing, we're gonna hit these, you know, these community holes, so to speak. Five minutes, no fish, we're gone. But if we start getting on them, obviously we'll stay. So five more minutes, Turn let's go. Get up there. <gasps> and cut. What do you got there? Well, made the move. A jig. Yeah, we're gonna try some deeper docks. You know, there's, notice one thing. Again, we've been here for less than five minutes and we've gotten a bite. So, a little brown finesse jig. Not a bad one. Go ahead and put her back. Maybe, maybe we found them. Nice to find a little wad. Right. There's one. I don't know if that's a fish. I don't think it's a fish. Nope. Tree pounder. Tree pounder. Dude, I was thinking that's a good one. Cut. Cut. The fish one. There's one. Oh, he came off. God, dude, there's a road. Road jumping in the lake. There we go. Two bites right in a row. Man, that thing one. bit it, Jared. All right. It's a chunky. Chunky. Chunky guy. And that's the bite we're looking for, though. Knocking slack in it. You know, we're fishing these deeper docks with these jigs, and the deal is just to fish it really slow. You know, we're keeping that jig on the bottom, trying to pick apart every rock. And again, when you get around these fish, they're gonna let you know. I mean, they've been they've been biting it really hard. You just had a bite right there, mm -hmm. another bite. Maybe we're onto something here. Oh, oh, there he is. Hey, I'm retiring, you're catching. Just a little one. See, this is what happens when we go deep. Jared sucks. Future five pounder. Hey, still fun though. Uh oh. Corey's on. It's a big one. I think you got a scaly banger. Did you either got a giant bass or whiskers? <laughs> If this is a bass, Corey, we're, we all owe you tacos for lunch. Tacos. I think it's all whiskers, man. 
Hey, hey, Corey's double pumping the rod. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, I think it's a 10. Got a 10 pounder, dude. Got a salmon. <laughs> hey, remember those are trouble hooks in there, Corey. Yeah, that's, that's a bright. <laughs> Hey, Corey, for sure you got a teener on. <laughs> oh my. Whiskers, God. dude! <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, here, let me do it. How do I turn this on? <laughs> All I can say to this, Daniel, is meow. <laughs> Dude, that's the biggest catfish I've ever seen. Here, I'm not touching that thing. Let's trigger it. <laughs> you, want... <laughs> Dude, you, need... you just caught a scaleless banger. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Dude, that was a big, I'm like, dude, it's starting to pull drag like crazy. Can't be a badass. We're making a badass vlog today. You know what this vlog's gonna be called? Joe. Corey with the bigs out of the back. Yeah. All right, man, we've been bouncing around a little bit. You see, we're looking for like rock piles and stuff like that. So, you know, the, the mapping on these garments is phenomenal so it really shows you what we're looking for and then we'll pull up side scan I got the down view working and you can see what we're what we're after here the only thing we're missing here is bait and I haven't seen any fish here so that's a problem but you can see these rocks there's a peak right there I mean there's just no bait really yeah I mean there's nothing so all these rocks there's rocks out here to my right obviously there's the peak right over here you see, usually if there was bait or fish, you, know, you see little white dots on the on the side view, side scan, and you know, I means bait, fish, stuff like that, and there's absolutely nothing here. So it's like, why even bother fishing? If the bait and fish aren't here, we're out, right, Cody? Gotta go. There he is. Carolina rig. Wiggler. Finally got one on a red reddish crank. And still not the size we're looking for. Yeah, there's a yank on him, but there he is. You got him? Yep. That one was in 30 feet, man. No kidding. That yeah. deep? Yeah. That deep? Yeah, I saw it on the graph. I was looking at the Garmin and, ooh. That's a big one, dude. Nice one. It's kind of been the theme of the day, just kind of run around. Get her. Here we go. Burr, that water's cold. Yeah, it's been the theme of the day. You know, we've just been kind of running around, fishing, whatever looks good. Definitely a nice fish show, but I saw that fish. I was looking at that, that garment in 30 feet of water, tossed behind the boat. There he is. That's a pretty good one, man. Right underneath the boat, like Cody just said, this is back to back. I was throwing my bait up there shallower. And he's like, dude, out in 30. Of course, he's the great deep water specialist. Throwing the TN in 31 feet. Show cars got him. Look how fat they are, man. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let this one go. There she goes, back down to 30 feet. What rod are you throwing there, man? 
seven foot seven ritual angling reaction bait rod, man. And we make one that's a seven foot two with the same kind of action for, you know, if guys don't like that fishing that long of a rod. But I, I mean, it's got the parabolic action. What about you? What do you got going on? You know, seven foot four inch glass rod. That's really elite. You know, it's there was a bite right there. It's just a rod where when you hook them, you just don't lose those fish. And it's again, very parabolic, you know, especially anytime you have those treble hook baits. I mean, you just have to have that give, that bend to land those fish. That was fun, man. I, like I say that. Still throwing 16 pound? I'm throwing 16 pound crank FC on a, on a seven to one Tatula Elite. Yep, I'm throwing a six, 16 pound. Another bite? Yeah, another bite. 16 pound Daiwa J Floro. I mean, it's crazy. You don't, you don't come to Clear Lake thinking. 30 feet. 30 feet of water. I don't come to Clear Lake. You come to Clear Lake. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you, you, just, you still don't think you're going to fish that deep, especially with a lipless crankbait, you know? But yeah, hey, it, that, that's what's so cool about a lipless bait like that. Like, you're throwing your red eye or whatever you got, and I'm throwing my TN, and everybody thinks, you know, it's a shallow, you know, grass situation there's no grass within a mile of here no and we're out in 30 feet 30 feet just catching fish yep crazy there he is that one yeah nice and that thing was even deeper how deep was that i don't know i threw way out front of these docks here it's a nice fish here digging yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, Clear Lake stud, four four pounder at least. Might be old whiskers. Corey might be giving you a run at the title today. <laughs> you know, this rod again, this rod reel is just is so so money for me. I'm throwing a 16 pound Daiwa uh, fluorocarbon J floral, but this is a Daiwa Spees A with the T wing, seven foot four Tatsuli Elite rod. You know, and these hooks on this bait, all these lipless baits have been thrown this week. Red Eye, a variety of liplesses have been. The owner STX 38, number fours. You know, I just, I have a lot of confidence. Look at that thing there. Dude, that's a nice thing. A lot of confidence in those number fours. Yeah, look at that nice, there. Nice, dude. <laughs> hey, that's the way nice. to end it, huh? I mean, this has been absolute blast so far. I think it's time to get some lunch. This big old girl wanted some lunch. But look at that, man. Beauty. Again, Clear Lake, deep water. We've been running around, really kind of junk fishing, catching them on a jig. You know, I caught some on a jig. Seven foot, six inch Tatsuli Elite uh, with 16 pound Daiwa J Floro and a Steez A. Jared caught some cranking, caught some on some lipless stuff. Just an awesome Just day. kind of junking it up. Junking it up on the south end. Beauty. That's a day, man. Hey, nice job, you guys dude. like this vlog, make sure you guys like, share, tag a friend. Check in next week, see what we do after this. So far, it's been good. Stay tuned.